اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بل نقض و بالحق علی الباطلی فید مغہ فیضا ہوا ظاہق ولکم الویل مما تصفون صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسان یفقہ قولی ریسپیکٹڈ ویورز اینڈ لسنرز السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ بکلمات اللہ تامہ من کل شیطان و حامہ و من کل عین اللہمہ اعوذ بکلمات اللہ تامات من شر ما خلق ربی اعوذ بک من حمزات الشیاطین و اعوذ بک ربی ان یحضرون فاللہ خیر حافظ و هو ارحم الراحمین آمین یا رب العالمین وقل الحمد للہ اللذی لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شریک فی الملک وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ وَلِيٌّ مِّنَ الذُّلِّ وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا The ayah which I have read is from Surah Al-Anbiya, chapter 21, verse number 18. Allah says, بَلْ نَقْزِفُ بِالْحَقِّ عَلَى الْبَاطِلِ Whenever the truth is heard against the falsehood, فَيَدْ مَغُهُ فَإِذَاهُ وَزَاهِقْ وَلَكَمُ الْوَيْلُ مِمَّا تَصِفُونَ It knocks out its brain and falsehood has to be perished not at any cost. Today the topic is how Mirza Ghulam Ahmad cursed me upon him. He fooled his own people. Rather I call it this oscillation of sickness, he put his people into the crossroads where you do not know where to go. What is your culminating point? Where is your final destination? Let me repeat. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, curse be upon him, is the person or was the person who tantalized in such a way that he put his people into the crossroads. While they are in the crossroads, they are keep oscillation or oscillating, meaning going back and forth, back and forth, and <clears throat> leading towards the crossroads. Let me elaborate to my viewers what my point is. You see, crossroads is a position or a place where there is no way to go. You are stuck into ambivalence, confusion, or cognitive dissonance. And oscillation is the process. We study in science about the waves, how they, you know, go up and down their amplitude, you see waves have this wavelength of a wave as well as the amplitude, the frequency, the trough which is the lowest point of the wave and crest the highest point. But what is the point there? Wave is keep oscillating back and forth, back and forth and it goes to where the position or the place where it starts and crossroads. This is what exactly the story of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad and Qadiani is on and on. Any Murabbi, any Qadiani, any woman from the Lajna community, all what they learn is the pocketbook arguments, bogus apologetics, false, lies, deception, deceit, deceitful manners, and no sense at all oscillating to the continuous process of crossroads. They will start the discussion and they do not know where to go. Why? Because Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, the way he postulated his theories, made him to make several U-turns. Whenever he say, proclaim something, that for example, I am Isa ibn Maryam, who was supposed to be coming, 
or who's supposed to come. I'm in his place and Isa ibn Maryam is no more. He's dead. So once he claimed this thing and suddenly then he has realized that if he's dead, then how he can be Isa ibn Maryam? You see, crossroads. Now when we ask these questions to Qadianis, they have no answers. So what they do? You turn. Oh, it doesn't mean that. Okay, another, another, another. Let's have another innings. Another innings, another excuse. Excuse after excuse after excuse. And finally, you reach the point where there is no place to go crossroads. Oscillating is the process of every Qadiani Mirzai onwards or so and so. Every. Name them. The small one or the big one, all they have simultaneously the same arguments because they have one pocketbook and pocketbook is all just continuous, perpetual arguments they keep posing to the people. So, how did he fool? That's the point. He fooled his own people. The biggest blunder in the history of humanity where a man is claiming to be a woman and claiming that he has menstruation, menses like a woman has. This is the biggest blunder in the humanity of in the in the history of humanity. You will never find this lewd kind of story in any documents in the past. And can you believe it? The most preposterous the proposition is laid by someone or said by someone, proposed by someone. Superstitious and the most credulous people will believe. Keep exaggerating. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed said that I am Maryam, a woman. God changed me and then I got menses and I got impregnated by my own self and I delivered the own baby, this is Jesus Christ and this is me, myself. Can you believe the sickness? A lunatic cannot speak like that. This is beyond lunacy. Highest order of lunacy. And this guy did it. He did it. He fooled the people with these kind of arguments. That I was Maryam. How come? How come? You know, we have a saying, if you want to make a lie, make a lie with the wisdom. How stupid, lewd, ignorant statement is that you are saying that I became a woman to fit yourself in the situation of Jesus Christ and I impregnated by myself or somehow mystical way and then after that I myself become Jesus after the three you know, gestation periods and finally here the Mashiach comes. Can you believe it? With this all muck, absurdity, propensity, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed proclaimed and his followers nod their heads. They said, yes, it's true. He became Maryam. Watch those lunatics. These lunatics, these... Uh, their Khalifa lineage and the lines of their Khalafat or Khalifa, these look, watch their videos, how, you know, deceitful, how clever or sheepishly they are dealing with the people. Droves after droves, hoard after hoard, they need money, donations, chanda. For what? For what you need? To tell to people that our founder was, was a woman or he became a woman and impregnated himself. For these things you are telling people to give you money. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, I'm telling to my western people, all the other religious, religions. He blasphemed every hero of the previous religion. The heroes or the idols you have. Remember that. He blasphemed against the Hindus, gods and goddesses. He blasphemed on Jesus of Nazareth. Two billion Christian dumb. He put them into gutter. If you know and access his books. 
poor people, the Western people, those wasps, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants supporting these people, they don't know. They don't know that their true faces, what they think about you, love for all and hatred for none. This slogan is the most deceitful, uh, deceitful or the most, you know, uh, what you call unambiguous, sorry, ambiguous statement of theirs. Lies. They only love the people who give them money. That's it. There's no love for you. Then, he's telling to the people that I'm Jesus Christ, the promised Messiah. Even by knowing that this guy is from India. This guy is from India and he's telling that I am promised Messiah, which is mentioned in the Bible. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? This guy, who is not a Jew, he belongs to those, you know, Indians' culture and Indian lineage, ancestry. And he's telling to the people, he got rid of that. He got rid of it. How come? Then he's telling to everyone, those who are my enemies or those who do not believe in me, they are all the son of bitches. Can you take that? Is that how Mashiach speaks? That you all people are the son of bitches. And when you ask Qadianis, they're not there. No, he's the promised Mashiach. He's the promised Mashiach. What, what is he doing? Oh, no, no. Actually, he came to destroy the cross. Which cross they destroy? He came to bring peace. What peace came? World War I happened. World War II happened. After this, this guy came, people are getting killed more, more than when, more than since or since when he proclaimed to be the Messiah. Inverted commas. People are getting killed. A God killed. World War I, World War II. So what's the point? He blasphemed our Nabi. Nabi Akrim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He used those words in a very diplomatic way to degrade our Nabi, caricature. Exactly the worst, the French, how they are doing it. About our against speaking against our Nabi Apak Sallallahu same this guy did it. He blasphemed Ambi Alayhi Salatu Salam. He blasphemed Jesus Christ. He blasphemed the God and goddesses of Hindus. He blasphemed the Jews, of course, Judaism. He blasphemed everyone. He didn't even spare the disciples of Prophet Muhammad, the Sahaba. He said that he is way afzal, superior than Ali. Astaghfirullah. He said that my words are Quran. You bastard. How dare? How dare you speak against my Nabi? You are telling that you, this the Quran is your words? What are you? You are nothing. You are nothing. You are living under the umbrella of the Western people. Those wasps who are just like you. Worldly people. And you are all protected under Kuffar. And you are claiming to be Mashiach. What type of Mashiach is this or Mashiach is that? Who needs the shelter and protection from disbelievers? You know, this is a fact. And a disappointing situation for Muslims all around the world that we do not have one system. Socio-political economic system. You call it Khilafa or Caliphate or whatever. Vice Jurency, we don't have it. Had it been for the Muslims to have any kind of system as a collective power, these people wouldn't have been existing. You know that. 
these people won't be there i dare these people go afghanistan and say something at the time of mirza ghulam ahmed he just sent some letters <laughs> just uh, pretending like a wanna be of prophet and he sent some letters so the ruler that time he said that come here and tell us on our faces come here and tell us then we will <laughs> we will butcher you and then we'll send you with your you know cut it pieces back to where you came from lies after lies he lied on prophet sallam he created many ahadith where you never find in any book ever written by muhaddisin he quoted many hadith which is totally a lie fabrication against prophet muhammad sallam and qadiani says it's okay he interpolated or prostituted the kalima of prophet sallam our kalima of islam whenever these qadianis then say muhammad they do not take muhammad of arabia they they think muhammad of this ahmad of qadian this curse curse be upon him that guy they take him you see i am discussing here with you a logical reasons i'm not quoting you the scriptures here i can but think for a moment a guy who said that i am a woman and i became a messiah can you stomach that can you buy this what is wrong with you people these their brains he is not an arab he made himself maryam then he fooled you people and he saying that jesus christ is dead so once a person is dead how come he's coming back again so for this he sugar coated the matter and he said that no 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 it is me who came but okay but if you came then you told us that jesus is dead then how you came because it is ordained for everyone to die once then resurrection so how come he came back again another lie see oscillation i told you coming back and forth and reach where crossroads no direction nothing stuck over there and then fumble tremble just yes, that's it hazur 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 ab kya karna hai hazur ab kya karna hai hazur ab kya karna hai euphoria ecstasy but in the grounds of logic nothing this guy that cockroach who is living in uk or whatever in germany this mirza masrur come forward and debate the people you rascal you don't even know how to read quran you don't even know the basic tenets of islam and you are said that our nabi is not the last prophet your mirza swine is the last prophet you are telling us you are telling 1.8 billion muslims you are playing with our emotions you think that we going to you know give you a flexible tongue no i dare all these murabbis i tell i said it before that come if you are emasculated and castrated bring your women folk come and debate debate on the merits of your fundamental prove that mirza ghulam ahmed was the messiah from the quran and hadith your game is up all those side tracks that the business of christians the day they do it exactly you are copying it machar chanti jao samoche oont nikli jao swallow the whole camel and you know stare at the gnat provide your evidence that's it you said mirza ghulam ahmed is a true mashia show us where is he mentioned in the quran and where is he mentioned in the hadith show us the word don't assume don't presume don't say that ought to be meant supposed to be in as much so talk straight did he mention or not is he name mention or not if he's not mention close the chapter and get lost from our site that's it and don't god mirza ghulam am sahab i see many muslims when they are discussing they said oh we said sahab we don't say sahab but sahab you know just to try to make a curry favor in a discussion don't don't talk don't say sahab don't say sahab 
इमेजन इफ अबू बकर सिद्दीक रजियत इज अलाइव और वॉज अ लाइफ टूडे इमेजन हाउ मेनी डिसाइप ऑफ प्रोफेसर सलम दे शेड द ब्लड वाई मुसलिम कजाब to stop this philosophy when prophet said ana ahmad ana muhammad la nabiya ba'di da is no prophet is coming after me then how dare anyone can say that i am prophet when he said umar if there was a slight chance of a prophet to be continuing it would be you umar but i am khatam an nabiyin i am the seal of the prophets when the seal is given on a document it means the document is closed you see we live i live in arab countries and i i can speak any arabic person i ask him what is the meaning of khatam you know what they say seal and mirza ghulam ahmed jahil of the jahil ignorant he said that now the prophet will come from the stamp of muhammad arabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam how a liar how the you see this i told you he's the biggest mesmerizer and tantalizer of this century the past century i'm telling you the way he fooled the people i think so there's no other <laughs> better you know the jal or trickster born than mirza ghulam ahmed you see what's the meaning of khatam it's a seal and allah used why allah used this word because to show you and us when the document is sealed and it means it is final complete and close but what happens if you remove the seal the document is no more authentic this is what allah says if you try to break the seal it means you are breaking the concept of islam khatam is a seal any documents in the past when there was no seal this is not authentic authentic document today we do not use seals anymore we use signature same thing but those that seal if the document is seal is finished the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the seal of the prophets all the prophets came before him and from him the document is closed and sealed once it is sealed there is no other chance of coming any prophet this is what it means you rascal the way you said that about against our nabi and the once the document is sealed it is sealed this is what this aya meant but deliberately the way you deceived people lana on you woe to you mirza ghulam ahmed woe to you so the discussion of khatm e nabuwat inshallah will not be needed when we have our system of islam these people will go in a hole like a burrows you know burrows like a rabbit goes inside they will stay there and die this is all the privileges of the west privileges of those kuffar who are nurturing them cultivating them and let them produce those children this this is all because of those privileges otherwise they know that and what power they have nothing that guy that cockroach is the puppet of the west is the slave of the west and this is not the job of isa ibn maryam i'm going to end this now mirza ghulam ahmed was the host of cognitive dissonance he make the statement he take his people and then he reach them and throw them into the crossroads and after crossroad he said okay start doing oscillation going back and forth back and forth back and forth so their circle back and forth now converted into their pocket book and from po- pocket book that's all they know nothing else nothing more and this is all the but they are postulating theory after theory of theory they will never speak on the character of mirza ghulam ahmed yes they will speak on the perception of ghulam ahmed or thinking of ghulam ahmed will never speak on because they know once you open the pandora box of mirza ghulam ahmed the game is up واخر دعوانا ان الحمد لله رب العالمين